Well, Ivan, uh, thanks so much for uh, for joining us. Uh, glad to talk to you, and uh, you know, always good to catch up with a fellow Vancouver College grad. So, uh, welcome. Thank you. Um, how have things been going for you? It's been uh, been a wild last four months. I know for everybody, uh, a lot of ups and downs. But um, you know, maybe maybe let's start out by by stepping back into uh, you know the end of last year and into twenty twenty. You guys were having a terrific season once again. Um, yeah, kind of yeah. got cut a bit short there, unfortunately. But um, how did that kind of go down for you guys? And and how did you transition into into sort of this new temporary reality? Yeah, it was it was quite devastating because I guess it was mid March when we got the plug was pulled on everything, right? And so we 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 were getting ready like Brown Cup for us against Uvic was coming up in like what two three weeks and then just to hear that everything's just kind of getting put on hold and shutting down and we're not able to train like it was pretty devastating like considering like how much time has been put into this and like all this effort and just like all the seat racing and all the training camps and everything that was going on it was uh, quite a lot to just have to then just put everything on hold but obviously it makes sense considering the situation that's going on in the world right now. So, yeah. I know so, some sports, you know, depending on how things are, have been easier to train and, and continue on doing, but I know for you guys, like haven't really been able to get, get in a boat together. Right. So what does that meant for you? What is your, what does that meant for training and, and how have you adapted to that? So in terms of training right now, our only real availability to train is just like singles and potentially doubles or like pairs. Um, only, only if those people in those pairs and doubles are living together or in like close, like are keeping in contact because like obviously there, we don't want to be like um, spreading anything. So there's been like a lot of things placed into um, in terms of like having that safe, like having safely perform our sport because like it is like especially for the springtime like we're rowing eights all the time and so you can't do that right now with like because we would train we would need two eights so you have like 16 people on top of that two coxies so there's 18 right there so it's just like it's just too much you you can't you can't carry that out right now so training just went down into almost we didn't almost do anything for I think a month trying to figure out what what's going to be the next step what's going to open what's going to like how can we combine sessions like us the guys we were just kind of um we tried to meet up and do something like social distance like go for a run or like a go for a ride and like on our bikes or anything of the sort but yeah other than that like the team component team aspect of things has really gone downhill unfortunately because like we're just not able to do it carry out sessions in the same size what uh, what's been keeping you busy? I know at first, obviously, there's still the rest of the of the semester to finish up school wise. But but since that ended and exams were all done, uh, what have, what's been keeping you busy besides the training and, and stuff that you've been doing? Well, as a lightweight rower, I've taken some time to put on some weight and not just like the good old beer belly, but just like uh, started pump, like started getting the gym. Like uh, I mean, obviously gyms are closed, so a lot of it's been like body weight stuff at home. So cardio has definitely taken a little bit of a hit so <laughs> um i've been trying to get out biking and like cycling and that that's just like one of the big things like i have a stationary bike like right there <laughs> so that, that, that's nice that keeps me busy um also like birthday was like like i said like uh, a few days ago so i'm investing all the birthday money and whatnot into a nice bike so i can get out there and really hit that cardio and um but yeah, it's been mostly that, mostly just training and I'm just trying to explore some like, it's just like actually managing to explore some hobbies and whatnot and just like, like building things, fixing things, just like, uh, also been taking a course, a Russian lit course, because um, I, I have, I am of Russian heritage, so I was born and raised there for uh, 10 years, basically. So taking a literature course and like, kind of familiarizing myself with the history and everything is uh it's been quite interesting. What uh, What are these hobbies uh, you speak of? What uh, and what have you been working on? Oh well, I, a lot of it's been like helping helping my dad. Like we've been <laughs> brewing some beers. <laughs> on top of that, um, we like helped him. I helped him. Uh, my brother works at a. He's a manager at a like um, at a furniture store or not a furniture store, but like a business of their own. And so. 
uh, we used some of his like plywood and such uh, to like build the smoker and I've been smoking some meat. So like, that's been exciting. Uh, nothing, nothing out of the sort, just doing a lot of like manual labor, like building, like build, like uh, fixing up like storage rooms and stuff like that. Just cause like, I don't know, it's fun. It's also has that physical aspect to it. So it's keeping me busy and like keeping me active just so I'm not like sitting around watching Netflix all day <laughs> if I have nothing to do. Cause yeah, Mike Pierce, my coach would not appreciate that. <laughs> Hopefully Mike's watching this and uh, he sees what you've been up to. So that's good. Yeah. Um, I've been too you mentioned much in contact with him lately because like, because of COVID I have been um, at, like mostly isolated because I do live with like my parents that are kind of exposed to like, it could be potentially da very dangerous for them. And on top of them, my grandparents are like, we're very close to us and we visit them quite often. So I've been kind of, um, isolated from like friends and training in that aspect, or I've just been trying to, especially with like the cases like hitting 50 or something last week again. So I'm like, okay, is everything on the rise? Like, what do I do kind of thing? So that's definitely the social aspect of training has definitely taken a hit. But, but yeah, for, for sure. Like, so, so Mike, no, if you're listening, I've been keeping up with the training. <laughs> Uh, you mentioned, you know, try to stay off Netflix. It's been so nice out. Obviously, I think a lot of us have been enjoying outside. But have you have you got back watching sports? Are you, are you, are you pretty pumped to see like the NHL and NBA and, and a lot of North American sports up and running again? It, it is nice. It is nice. I have been following mostly, honestly, Russian soccer. Uh, the, I'm from St. Petersburg and Zenit, St. Petersburg Zenit actually won the Russian uh, championship. And so like that was like a big thing. Uh, this happened, I think, uh, like two, three weeks ago go so that was really exciting besides that, i haven't really been following too much like right now i got my wisdom teeth pulled out last week on top of a midterm and everything so i was just been like and then and then my birthday and this whole camping trip that i was organizing so everything's just been kind of like just spiraling out of control trying to like putting out fires here and there <laughs> trying to balance everything so it's been uh been tough in that sense so no I haven't really been following too much sports but I am excited that it's all coming back like it's nice awesome thanks Ivan uh, appreciate it and uh, keep up with everything and uh, enjoy the rest of the summer thank you